Also, I don't know if you can tell from all the, uh, well, all the decorations, but uh, it's Halloween time. Spoopy. <laughs> Why is that so... Why is that so stinky? Good morning, Internet. Wake up. It's almost booze o'clock. And you don't want to be late for booze o'clock. Hi, I'm your host, Dave, and welcome back to the Noisy Barstool Presents. Now, today, I'm going to be taking you on another trip up Michigan's east coast. We're going to a place called Tawas, Michigan. We're going to be visiting the Boathouse Beer Company and Boozery. Now, this place is right on the coast of Lake Huron. It's got some fantastic food, really good beer, and quite frankly, they actually named their place a boozery. So, I couldn't help myself. All right, you know the drill. Cue that driving montage. So we've been on the road for about two hours and we're almost at Taos, but I need a cup of coffee. And I figured since it's on the way, we would visit our friends at the Coffee Espresso Bar and Bakery in Augre. So we're here. Ta-da! All right, let's go. Now that we're all caffeined up, I think we can all agree it's time for a beer. Let's go. Taos, Michigan is just a couple miles from Augre up the coast of Lake Huron. And like its neighbor, Taos is a picturesque town which in the summer months is chock full of tourists visiting its lakeside cabins, local golf courses, or enjoying its lovely downtown. But even if you happen to be driving through on the off season, the Boathouse Beer Company and Boozery is open. And like magic, we're here at the Boathouse Beer Company and Boozery. And they do have a small parking lot behind the building, but I like parking across the street. Uh, it's a big public parking lot slash park. And honestly, the reason I like parking over here is, look at that view. That's a great lake, y'all. Crazy. All right, let's go. The Brew Pub opened August 23rd, 2017, and has become a beacon of craft culture in the area. They run a 10 tap system, which lets them not only showcase their own beer, but also feature a few guest taps from other Michigan craft breweries. They also have a full bar and a craft cocktail list, which allows their bar staff to flex a bit and get creative in their own right. The food menu offers a wide variety of choices, all of which set their menu apart from anything else in the area. Pair that triple threat of great beer, great cocktails, and great food with a really nice welcoming atmosphere overlooking Lake Huron, and I can confidently claim that if you're gonna make dinner plans in Taos, this is the place to go. The Boathouse is a brew pub with a relatively small setup, but they manage to crank out enough beer to have between three and five drafts pouring at any given time. When you're there, look for their Alabaster IPA for a delicious hoppy yet balanced beer, or try the Tawas Beach Blonde for something light and refreshing. 
When I visited, they had just put on a dark ale called the Dark Side of the Bay, which was malty and robust, with notes of coffee and baker's chocolate, and with enough hops in the build to give it a slightly bitter finish. And if you're absolutely only gonna have one thing when you come through the door, I gotta recommend my favorite one, the Joie de Lac. It's a Belgian strong ale, golden bodied, crisp, delicious, a little bit of herbaceousness, you get this lovely banana, and then uh, it cuts pretty quickly, a decent ABV, and quite frankly, no one else is doing that in the region. The Boathouse is also hands down the best restaurant in the area. I was traveling through Michigan last year, and I was just so tired of going to the same five restaurants over and over again. It's diners, Americana, bar. Never trust a restaurant with a menu longer than five pages. And when I looked up their menu, I saw that they were using fresh seasonal ingredients. And after doing a little research, I found out they changed their menu quarterly and they are bringing an elevated level of cuisine to the area. The menu was all various approachable things, your steak and potatoes, but also Franco-Italian influenced and Pan-Asian influenced. Y'all, they just sent me out a bite of pumpkin chicken Alfredo with summer squash and zucchini. Let's give it a shot. Oh my god. That's fantastic. The Boathouse is really doing something special here in Taos. They're taking chances, and it's paying off. The menu, both the beer and the food menu, are something I'd expect to see in the bigger places in the world, the Detroits, the Chicago's, not in Taos. So if you're gonna be driving by, or if you just want an excuse to get in the car and go to a place that's picturesque, stop by at the Boathouse, it's fantastic. Well friends, that concludes this episode of the Noisy Barstool Presents. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, maybe think about dropping it a like, or subscribing to the channel, or hitting the bell icon to get notifications. Oh yeah, if you want uh, more content in between the times that I upload videos, you can always go over to the noisybarstool.com, where I publish articles on some of the stranger aspects of bartending. And as always, if it ever looks like your glass is half empty, that might mean you're just not drinking fast enough. Cheers.